Okay, so I saw this and I feel like I want to put my own thoughts into the matter of this situation. And that is the war that's happening between the gamers and Matt Walsh. Now, if you don't know who Matt Walsh is, he's basically like a conservative figure person who talks about like you know, the issues of the world, right wing it and, and all that stuff. And for the most part, I mean, I don't really watch him much or at least not anymore, but for the most part, I have been agreeing with his takes on like the real world issues when it comes to like, you know, just like with like the kids and how like all like the BS is happening with like, the wolf stuff and whatever. But the thing is though, when it comes to the whole gaming situation or mainly just like the entertainment industry, yeah, he's got some bad takes. By bad takes, I mean the guy doesn't like gaming at all. Now supposedly he says he does like gaming or he doesn't mind it, but honestly for years he's been downplaying it or just like calling it out, especially when it comes to adults, because he truly believes that gaming should be only for kids and that any adults that play gaming are immature and childish. Boy, the amount of times I've heard that in my life. <laughs> now, usually people who say this are the ones who just have no interest in gaming, which is completely fine, or those who are just older ones, you know, who didn't live with gaming, or they saw it and thought was like, eh, okay, you know, or just used to seeing kids just play it, which I totally get it, I totally understand, and nowadays when they see that, I'm pretty sure they're thinking about games like Mario or like Fortnite or any other games that have like that cartoonish look to it. That same mindset is the same thing when they see kids watching cartoons. Cause usually cartoons are geared towards younger audiences, aka kids. So when they see adults watching cartoons as well, they will think the same thing where like, you know, adults should not be watching cartoons at all. That is something that I wish it was that simple. And I'm pretty sure for a majority of people out there, that's you know how they look at it. But with this situation, it's actually more deeper and apparently more personal for gamers. I wanted to say all that just to give like a little taste or kind of like a how they kind of think about gaming. Because like I said, it's actually more deeper when it comes to this situation right here. Because again, this is kind of like a now quote war between gamers and Matt Walsh. To give a brief summary of what is going on, there's a game company called Sweet Baby Inc. that has been making, or at least helped making, recent title games like The Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. Now the issue with that and other games that they have touched and created is that they've been pushing their woke agendas into it. By that I mean they've been having or pushing more of like representation, more diversity, woman power, and like anything else that's like related to that stuff. On paper, you would think that will sound okay or good, but when you go to the details and exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it, that becomes an issue. By issue, I mean they're actually like, instead of just doing it naturally, like how maybe they should be doing, you know, is that they're actually forcing it. It's kind of like in your face. Because of that, gamers have been speaking out their opinions and their minds about this, and they're not liking it whatsoever. They've been saying this for years and years. I mean, if I had to call right, maybe like 10 years or more when they start doing all this stuff. And it's not just Sweet Baby Inc. It's other companies too, or just like the industry in general. It's just that like Sweet Baby Inc. has created such a huge impact especially with their members speaking out and try to defend themselves or try to say other things to make themselves look good, it backfires at them like 10 times fold. It backfired at them so hard that it became a mainstream to where the Daily Wire is now covering it. Honestly, this is good. The reason why is because companies like Sweet Baby Inc. and anything else like that has to be stopped. Because with all this crap that they've been putting out there, like having people outside of like the gaming industry to know this stuff does spread the word more and hopefully it actually creates more of a impact or backlash to them to where they just stop altogether. Then you have a guy like Matt Walsh right here who is speaking about it, which again, that's good, right? Except <laughs> the way he's saying it is just no, no, no. Now, this isn't much of a surprise for him to be talking about this as he is against the woke. 
it's just that him not specifically talking about Sweet Baby Inc. or just the gaming companies. He then talks about just the whole entire video game community and how messed up it is. So instead of just one person or two or a group or a company, he just thinks all together that the gaming community is nothing but wokeness. Now, if you're like myself or any other gamers out there who are speaking against this, you know that's not true. I would argue that half, if not most of the gamers like myself aren't for this. Now, it's not that we're against it, like, you know, we're not against diversity or representation exactly. It's just how those companies are doing it and how they're forcing it and how they're just bashing on people who don't agree with them. It's just insane. Like, you can go on YouTube, just type in Sweet Baby Inc. and you'll get many videos and just a lot of it talking about it and all the gritty details about what's really going on with them. Now, what's funny about this is that I literally just told you go on YouTube and type in that company just to get all the research and details. You would think doing something like that, Matt Walsh would have got that and really know what to say about this. Instead, I'm pretty sure he just read maybe like a few articles talking about it and just summed it up, you know, skimmed it and said, you know what? It's the whole industry. That's what it is. Now, because Matt Walsh is Matt Walsh, he is known throughout the country, if not maybe even the whole world, of who he is and what he talks about. So for him to say that, that's an issue for us gamers out there. Because people who don't really know gaming or know the details of what's really going on, they're just gonna believe him and be like, oh man, it's the whole gaming community then. This is bad. And even more on top of that, supposedly, now here's the thing, I don't know for sure, I haven't heard him say this exactly coming out of his mouth, but supposedly, he is the first person to highlight the wokeness in video game industry. Now, here's the tweet saying this from D-Day Cobra. He's from the YouTube channel Geeks and Gamers, and from my eyes, he seems like a cool guy, and he's also against the woke. Now, again, I'm not exactly sure if Matt Walsh said this exactly out of his mouth, but I'm pretty sure he just summed it up of what he's saying and said like this. That, or maybe there's articles out there uh, supposedly saying that, oh, he's the first person to you know do this, which of course we all know that's not true. And then you have Matt Walsh responding to this. I love when people just completely invent, I never said or even came close to saying, and then get all mad about the thing they invented in their heads. But it actually doesn't stop there. Recently, he's been tweeting about other people who's been calling him out on this, as you can see right here. And he even actually posted this YouTube thing that he did where he did play More Combat 1. And I have seen it a while ago because I was just curious about it. And yeah, he's playing the game and everything. But it's just funny how he's doing this and I'm pretty sure he's he just trolling, you know, on it. Saying like, hey, look at, like, I play games and everything too, see? I can do it. He's also retweeting and replying to other things that people have been saying, like you see right here. And it's not just this. Of course, the gamers are also responding back, besides tweeting about what he's saying and, you know, calling him out. They're also making YouTube videos about it as well, having, like, 10-minute videos. I think I even kind of saw a video that was like, 50 minutes long, I was, I was like, oh my gosh. But well, they're going to details and for good reason too, because they're obviously upset, you know? I mean, I am too, otherwise, why am I even like making this? Of course, you're gonna have people who are outside of the gaming industry gonna see all this as well and be on, you know, Matt's side or basically just call all these gamers, you know, lazy and like anything else because they don't understand. And here's the thing. Yes, people have their own opinions about gaming. You like it? Cool. You don't? Cool. That's totally fine, you know? Like, no one's calling him out and saying, oh, he, he, like, you know, doesn't like gaming or anything like that. It's the fact that, like, he's mentioning this and then people are saying, like, oh, he's the first person to mention this, you know, about the wokeness in video games, where YouTubers have been saying this for, like I said before, like 10 years plus or just, you know, recently have been more outspoken about this to where now majority of people are getting fed up. So with all this going on, and then for him to call out the gamers and basically just say, oh, the whole industry is woke or all oh, the whole industry is bad. Oh, I almost forgot to mention too. He did also mention how 
at the end of this that children should just stop playing games altogether. If not just children, adults, just everyone should be just stop playing games altogether just because of this. Which, obviously, that's a very bad take for us gamers or people who just know how gaming actually works. And just like that, he started a war. Well, actually, not really. He's actually been saying this. It's just that because of what's going on, more people are now speaking out against him. My personal thoughts on this, well, I mean, it should be kind of obvious me making this video, is that I don't like it. When it comes to Matt Walsh in general, I can agree with everything he pretty much almost says about the issues about the world and our country and what's going on you know, in our society. But every time he mentions something about video games or animation or just like kind of like the entertainment industry that's like around that stuff is always a bad take. The only thing I can say is that he's just a guy who just doesn't understand. Like for me, for example, people who drink. I don't drink. I hate drinking. I hate the taste of it. And at least for me, I can get why people do it, but it's just not for me. And like, I, I refuse to just do it. I can go on and on and on about this topic of how video games are bad or how adults should not be playing video games at all because for children, which all that stuff are bad takes. But that's like a whole nother conversation on itself. And I just briefly want to talk about the issue of between Matt Walsh and the game community as of now. So yeah, I just want to briefly just talk about this and put in my two cents in and what I'm thinking about it. Cause yeah, like, like I said, this is nothing new. It really isn't, especially from Matt, you know, it's just that what's been going on has been highlighting this and that it's just, you know, out there more, especially that now it's in a, you know, mainstream right now with the Daily Wire. Although I am curious to see how long this will last, I mean, maybe just like another day or two, depending on, <laughs> you know, if Matt like keeps reposting and like responding to these tweets or making videos and, you know, people just milking the crap out of this, but we'll see. That is all I have for today and apologies for not posting much as my life has been getting busier and just me just doing other stuff too. But hope you all are having a good day. If you have any thoughts, post them in the comments. And yeah, go check out and see if this chaos is still going to go or not. Have a good night.